Today I'm gonna to talk about how to move your work in trial pad from one iPad to another. What I'm working with is a case file, a demo case file that I use when I do trial pad trainings. And I'm gonna exit this case by hitting the cases button in the upper left hand corner and come back out to the main kind of overall menu. I'm gonna select the case by just tapping on it once and hit the icon that looks like a banker's box. And here any cases that I have will show up as listed and I'm gonna select demo. Now, the reason why I'm getting this error message right away is because there's a size limitation. Trial pack can only archive or package up files, entire case files that are a certain size. So this one's too big. And you can tell it's too big by looking at the little annotations that are on this folder. It says it's 3.26 gigabytes large. And so I need to trim the fat a little bit before I can archive it. Uh, this is a, an issue that's gonna go away soon and I'll stress that at the end of the video, but for now, this is the way that you're gonna need to do it. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the videos that are in this case, because usually videos are the parts that are extra voluminous. Um, and there's usually, hopefully not too many in a case file, so it's pretty easy to remember to just add those back in later. So I'm going to long press on the folder itself. It's a little counterintuitive. I had to ask and how to figure out how to do this. And select duplicate case, and it's gonna make, make an exact copy of this case, same number of files. And also if I look in the key docs, there's stuff in the key docs there. And so what I'm gonna do now is go through the multimedia, and I think if I just delete this one particularly large video, that will probably be enough. Yes, it was. That video is just gigantic for whatever reason. So now I've gone from 3.26 gigabytes to 174 megabytes. So that's gonna be a lot more manageable. So let's make a copy of that case file. I'm gonna select the copy and hit the backup button. So now what it's doing, it's packaging up all those files, the PDFs, the videos uh, that are left, uh, and all the key docs and the folders in key docs that I've made and put together. Um, and so then what I'm gonna have to do is once this is done, it that nugget, that archive file stays on the iPad. And so I need to move that to a computer and have to do that through a wired connection in order to be able to get it onto another computer. So I'm gonna get a USB-C cable and once you connect it, you can see that my iPad shows up over here in the devices area. And to be able to work with the archive file and or if, even if I just need to move a bunch of larger files to the iPad, I'm gonna hit this iPad icon up here. And it's a little bit hard to kind of notice because it's just a rounded rectangle with another rounded rectangle inside it. But you click on that and you actually get to see inside your iPad. The area you wanna look at is in this file sharing area. And now all the apps that have file sharing enabled will show up here. And we're gonna to go to trial pad. And in this trial pad section, here we have this demo copy dot trial pad case, that's the name of the file. And I'm going to save that file and I'm gonna just put it somewhere on my desktop. All right, so now you can see the saving is going on. And once that's done, then I can disconnect my iPad and what I'll do is, uh, I could either get a new iPad, but what I'll do for now is I'll just delete uh, that demo copy file that we had uh, previously, and I'll just delete this file as well. And the last thing that I need to do to fully delete and remove that archive case file is I hit the banker's box button again, and I'm just gonna trash that demo copy. So now there's no case files on here, there's no archive files, there's no nothing. So let's, So it's as if it's a brand new iPad, let's get it plugged in and we'll go back to iTunes. And so we'll hit iTunes again, we'll go back to that same iPad icon, and then we will go to file sharing. And now on file sharing, we, will, we don't see that demo case file. So I have to go to add file and then go navigate to the place on this laptop where that exists. And so it is right, I think D, demo case file. So yeah, so that's the one that I want. And I'll hit open. And now it's copying from the laptop onto this iPad itself. And that's gonna take a little bit of time. It'll take longer if it's a big case, but it looks like that's done. So I'm gonna hit done there. And then I'm gonna disconnect the iPad. And now I'll come over to the iPad itself. And now I have that demo case file copy back in here and I'm gonna select it. And now this restore button is available to me. 
It asks me if I'm sure, I'm sure. And now what it's doing is it's unpackaging all that stuff it packaged before. And now I have 31 files minus that one really large video file. And I have, uh, it's called demo copy. It lets me know when the archive was made and I can look in here and I can see that if I go to the key docs, all the key docs that I had before are there and in the same exact um, order that I had them previously. So that's all nice to see that that's all there. So if you had bookmarks, if you had key docs made, or if you made any folders, all that will be saved and retained. And that's the whole benefit of using this archive process, archive and restore to order in order to populate a brand new iPad. The one thing that I will have to remember to do is to add that other particularly large file. So that's something that you want to put in kind of somewhere in some notes where you have case notes or kind of other to-do list items. If you have a case file location that's like that, is to remember to put that file in there so you don't forget it for later. The only last thing that I might do is I might then rename it so that this case file is a little bit more manageable for me. So to rename a case file, again, long press on the folder itself and then rename it and then you can rename it like you would rename anything. I'm just gonna rename it to demo. And so there you have it. And so that's the way that you would move all your work from one iPad to another is by using the archive uh, and restore method using iTunes and a cabled connection uh, as an intermediary. Now, the thing that I mentioned before was that like, this is a process that's gonna go away soon. And I think that's going to happen relatively soon with iPad OS coming out and the new files system integration that it's going to have. I think that with iPad OS, there's going to be the ability to do this with larger case files. So you won't have to worry about that two gigabyte file limitation. Um, and I don't know that you'll have to use iTunes as the intermediary anymore. I think the direction where iPad OS is going is that they don't want you to have to use iTunes anymore. And if you think about it, it's kind of counterintuitive and a little bit weird uh, and very non iPad like to have to use iTunes and like connect your iPad to a computer. So I think all that's going away. It's not gone away yet. And all that stuff's kind of in the works, I think, but it's not here yet. So I still feel like it's a question I got just last week from a client. And so I felt like it was finally time for me to go ahead and make this video. So hopefully it's helpful to you guys, even if it's not something you do all the time, just so that you're at least familiar with it and kind of are aware of the steps, whether it's something that you really want to undertake or not, or if just simply remaking like two key doc folders might be the faster way of going through things. It's one of those things when it comes to a lot of litigation support type work, uh, there's ways to automatically do things or do things through software, uh, but sometimes brute force is a little bit of a faster approach. So this is definitely one of those situations. It'll depend on just how much key docs and just how many bookmarks you've made to help you decide whether this entire process is actually worth your time. So if you have any other questions about archiving and restoring, uh, at least along the current way, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there. That's all I have for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.